taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. This is Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. So we're gonna do an update on Drip Network, and we're gonna talk about why I've been buying more Drip and taking advantage of the dip. Uh, we are seeing some some things happen in the space, specifically DeFi. I just want to say DeFi is very risky. You have to be aware of the risks when you're coming into these things, right? Because we've been in various projects. They're paying out. They could be paying out today. Come tomorrow, they're not paying out anymore. So we have to understand the risks when we get into these DeFi projects. Well, not only that, we have to diversify into various different projects because you just never know when one of them is going to go down. But uh, just sticking to the subject of drip for this particular video, right? I've been buying the dip. The price of drip has come under five dollars. It's back over five dollars now, but I've been buying it under five dollars. So I'm responsible for some of this action here. And of course, that's what we want. We want to take advantage of low prices, right? So I've managed to get myself up now over five thousand six hundred drip. So, uh, yeah, I mean, getting closer to the max payout, of course, we're a little bit far away, but closer nevertheless, right? And I'm going to be dollar cost averaging into drip over the next couple of days as well. Um, I want to wait and see if the price comes down a bit off the, off the back of this upward price action. Then I can grab some more drip and build this account, get it over 30k. And um, if the price of drip goes back up, because obviously it has been hanging around the $7 mark for a while. If it gets back up over $7, that's going to put my account in a decent position. And when you're compounding, of course, compound interest, you know how that works. Exponential gains. All right, guys. So everybody knows that the Animal Farm is supposed to have launched um, sometime last week. But now the plan, I believe, according to what Forex Shark says, um, but, you know, Forward Shark does say a lot of things, right? You know, the amount of times we've expected this thing to launch at uh, the Animal Farm to relaunch, and it hasn't. Um, you know, I still remain bullish on Drip, okay, guys? And this announcement that he put out, I believe it was uh, a couple of days ago, on the 21st of October, right? Uh, he actually said this, which is one of the things that's making me more bullish on drip, which is why I want to accumulate at these low prices, right? So I will be getting into the adjustment, sorry, in, yeah, into the adjustment we made, which will significantly improve the game theory of Animal Farm and create a steady source of buy pressure for drip by moving capital from the sell side of the order book to the buy side. Every time someone deposits it into the Drip BUSD farm, this is something I've wanted to do and have been considering for a long time and so on, right, guys? So obviously, just that one statement there makes me super bullish on Drip because at the end of the day, that's where we want buy pressure. Buy pressure is going to drive the price of Drip up. And obviously, we're going to be able to make more profits. The 1% a day that I'm earning right now, for example, is around $280 at today's price. Obviously, if that goes up, drip doubles, for example, that's going to be, you know, uh, double that. And uh, if it triples and if it goes back to the all time highs, which, of course, is a long way away from here. But, um, you know, we're going to be seeing super daily ROI on this particular project at 1% a day. So that is making me super bullish on drip. People are going to have some complaints about the animal farm and so on. Um, you know, it is really annoying. I will be honest. You know, I'm not in the animal farm personally. I am in the piggy bank and I'm in the drip garden. But in terms of dogs and the uh, pigs token, I'm not in those. Um, I emergency withdrew from the farms a while ago, around about the time when Luna crashed. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't have any exposure in the actual farms or anything like that. Uh, so I'm not getting a 90 percent tax on dogs personally. Um, one of the things I wish I would have done is sold my pigs and dogs um, or not even maybe even had taken, you know, the profits out of what was it called? Uh, the rev token at the time. Right. Because ever since you just had issues with the animal farm and it got paused and so on right but uh, i do think it's going to be a bullish thing when it comes out i think people are going to make a lot of money that being said but ultimately you know what they say right the drip maxi they say drip is king all right guys um i'm not a drip maxi or anything like that but in this particular situation i do choose drip over the animal farm 
right? And, you know, I'm an investor in Drip and I intend to continue to build my Drip account because Drip is, you know, it's autonomous. It's, it's, a, it's a complete contract. We've, had, we've never had a pause on Drip, never had an exploit on Drip or anything like that. So I'm still super bullish on Drip. So I just thought I'd just give my comments on that. But um, yeah, I have been buying more Drip and, uh, you know, I'm nowhere near a max account like some people. But, uh, you know, this is a decent amount of drip for me. For the price that drip was going at its all-time high at, I believe it was about $190, right? Being able to buy it right now at about $5, right? Um, I believe drip, the drip price, I do remember when it was $3 around about the time when it first came out, it might have been lower. But you're getting drip around the initial price, in my opinion. Correct me if I'm wrong, Right. But for me, this is a great buying opportunity for Drip. You always want to buy something when it's like 80, 90% down from its all-time all highs, right? And with the animal, form, uh, the, sorry, the animal Farm launch around the corner, which Forex Shark, I believe, is saying Thursday. And of course, you know, that that's... Uh, I, I wouldn't trust that this is going to launch until it actually launches, right? But he did say, I'm sure he said something about Thursday. Um, I told us to be ready with Tuesday um i saw a thursday in here uh most likely either thursday or next tuesday at the very latest oh there we go it's, it's either thursday this week or next tuesday at the very latest they reckon they're going to have a public launch um right now they're doing testing and so on so if the animal farm goes live then i've timed it pretty well to be buying it right now because i think that the price of drip is going to pump along with the animal farm especially going by what he says here about the pressure uh, the buying pressure for drip with the the the, the drip BUSD farm and so on all right guys so i just wanted to give you an update on this still bullish on drip i think it's a great time to be buying drip and i'm going to continue to dollar cost average because i want to build this account up a little bit more before the price actually starts to move if the price starts to move i could get it wrong and the price could just continue downwards but that's the risk we take in DeFi at the end of the day i do believe that the price will go up eventually so, uh, you know, the saying goes, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. But right now, I think we've timed it pretty well uh, to get this dip. This could be the final dip before the moon. I don't know. All right? I'm not saying that's going to happen. So please, please, please do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. Just wanted to give my two cents on that. Show you what I'm doing because I haven't done a drip video in a while. So, yeah. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Like the video. That helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.